We are the divine intervention. Permeating the human psyche is the illusion of the other. It lives as a mental construct that at times seems palpable, especially when under the thumb of tyrants, where it is felt as a hoped-for invincible savior who will, at any moment, swoop in and destroy the invaders, bringing sweet relief and a blessed return to normal. The other also takes the form of God and Satan, where both are held at arm's length and imagined as powerful forces out there, rarely interacting but conveniently sequestered until we need them to blame for our misfortunes or to bow in gratitude for our good fortune. This bifurcation of consciousness into archetypes of good versus evil is really a control play exploited by would-be controllers in their never-ending quest to dominate the masses. The controllers gaslight their minions into believing that there is a powerful evil force out there that only they can vanquish, but it requires utter compliance to their mandates. Those who comply are protected as the good, and those who do not become the bad, or the problem. Ultimately, because we usually see ourselves as separate individual characters just trying to survive and make the best life for ourselves, it sets up the other as everything we are not, and grants the other the power to destroy us. In reality, we are both the individual and the other. The downfall of personal power lies in the expectation of a savior. It is the convincing illusion that we are not powerful enough to overcome the tyranny in our lives and must hunker down in protection mode until this required savior shows up to bring the freedom from the tyranny we've allowed by our compliance. Personal power is recovered by the awareness of our complicity and seeing how we have handed over our rights and permissions to live free to criminal abusers. It's the realization that the bad in the world is never over there. It lives within us in the unexamined choices we've made to allow it. It is easier somehow to rendition evil into a darkness we resist looking at than looking it straight in the eye and saying, I know you. We give aid and comfort to the darkness by our denial of it, allowing it to grow and fester into that formidable force that becomes tyranny. Yet the downfall of tyranny is in the non-compliance of the controlled and a clear-eyed campaign to snuff out that tyranny within our own psyche. A fundamental principle of quantum living is connection. All points in the universe are connected and interact with all other points. This includes us as points of consciousness. Because we all are connected, we are a oneness of connection, able to feel what other points are feeling and share thoughts and perceptions. It is this data sharing among all points in the universe that is both an obstacle and advantage to those wishing to control. The work for them becomes creating separation among points and groups of points without those points realizing they've been separated. Oneness is the solution to any problem because it fuses together both problem and solution. There can be no tyranny in the face of oneness. There can be no disease or death under the auspices of oneness because oneness is eternal and infinite. Divine intervention seems like an intervention because it interferes with separation. It dissolves the awareness of separation into the cosmic whole where everything is forgiven, healed, and loved. This is the imminent destiny of humans on our beautiful planet. By awakening to the oneness of all points of human consciousness, we become the agency of divine intervention where tyranny can no longer exist and where lack and separation is impossible. By allowing ourselves to share our being with the divine oneness, we automatically delete the separation causing the ills of the world and amplify the infinite love inherent in connection. Good and evil are revealed as simply two ends of a spectrum falsely defined as separate with universal goodness enveloping and transforming the dark into the light. We are our own saviors. Having within us the ability to connect all separations within, heal all inner divisions, and express the universal God source, we are the divine intervention in the world. 
You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.